Tell us how got mold testing compares to these other types of testing methods out there. What we look for in our test kit is different types and quantities indoors than what we're finding outdoors. Outdoor spores infiltrate. They'll come in through nooks and crannies, front door, when you open the windows, and even through little gaps in the building. So when we look at the indoor air, it's very important that we have an outdoor sample. This is something that Ermi doesn't take into consideration. This is something that Petri dishes don't take into consideration. It's just this snapshot of what fell in to the plate at the time with the petri dishes. And then you look at it and you see if something grew. And then, you know, if you want to send it in for analysis, they can tell you what species. The list of problems with the petri dishes is so long that we could do an entire podcast on it. Basically, it's an outdated method. Petri dishes used to be valuable until they found out that about 95% of the species that fall into a plate don't grow. And the petri dishes specifically support the growth of the fastest growing species, not the ones that are more indicative of chronic water damage. So they don't even tell you anything about water damage molds at all. And because they're always positive, they almost always lead to confusion. They lead to you know, people making silly decisions like hiring a remediator based upon the fact that their dish grew mold. And you could do the same thing with a piece of white bread, put it on your counter, make it damp and then put it on your counter. Mold will grow on it in a few days. It doesn't tell you anything.